Welcome to a presentation of the integration from Enterprise Architect with ConnectBridge. On the one side we have Enterprise Architect with a ProCloud server connection to its repository. On the other side we have the ConnectBridge add-in for Enterprise Architect using a RESTful API communicating to the ConnectBridge. ConnectBridge is consistent of connectors to various connectors. As a sample, we have here Exchange or Trello. What is ConnectBridge? ConnectBridge provides a various number of connectors to different ERP, CRM and other uh, repositories and has the capability to extend almost all legacy applications to support this way of integrating to the connect bridge. The base idea is very simple. It says everything can be queried by using SQL statements. I have here a list of all existing connectors currently. One of them is Active Directory. Then we have this, yes, accept the connector. We have CMIS connector, Dropbox, Evernote, Exchange Management Connector, we have a Google Connector, an IMAP Connector, Marketo Connector, an ODBC Connector that is used full also for using repositories of Enterprise Architect as an example. We have an Office 365 Connector, OneDrive and so on. And there are various numbers like SAP Connector or SharePoint Connector to um, a lot of existing environments. I don't want to go too deep in the configuration of ConnectBridge because it's um, a story itself. Uh, but, but what they provide is a ConnectBridge query analyzer. Um, and as a sample, I have here implemented the Trello connector using the Trello API. And what you can see is that they provide tables like SQL tables. Trello is using a very powerful API, but what ConnectBridge does, it makes SQL out of it. And if I want to um, make a query, then I can have make a new query. And uh, I just can type select star from card as an example. And if I execute the query, then I will get the result like I would uh, query any SQL database behind. The same is with um, Enterprise Architect Connector as an example. For Enterprise Architect Connector, we have, um, we make, can open another query interface. So that's Enterprise Architect on a SQL Server. And you can make a new query against the repository of Enterprise Architect, like select star from the object. Now I have some, a small sample, some uh, report, uh, resources here. I can even define a where clause. Then I will get the requirements of the Enterprise Architect repository. This is not that miracle because Enterprise Architect is already provided, providing its data as SQL repository, but Trello does not. Or if we go for Dropbox, Dropbox is uh, represented only by a meta table. But I, if I want to see uh, the, the data that is stored in Dropbox, I can ask, just ask for the metadata. Select star from metadata. And then I will see um, all the files I provided in this specific um, area of Dropbox where I wanted to show um, some files that are existing here. If it goes to Enterprise Architect, there is an integration. I have prepared a sample with importing Trello or Exchange elements. Um, and there is a ConnectBridge Query Analyzer. 
and there we are using the same connection string that is used in the query analyzer of um, the query analyzer from ConnectBridge. And that if I want to see uh, the connection string, it's pretty easy. You can say edit the connection and under advanced you can see the connection um, and you can technology a little bit behind. Uh, they're using the Corba technology uh, for having a client server situation and having some scalable stuff. Uh, but in our sample, we just want to use the connection string. Then I can say, okay, get the tables. It's, there is the meta table. And of course I can do the same SQL as I've done before. within Enterprise Architect now because there is a plugin providing this query capability for Enterprise Architect. And once again, if I want to have Trello as an example, I just take the Trello thing, um, go for the connection string, copy it, reuse it, within Enterprise Architects add-in that is provided by ConnectBridge2. Can I ask for the tables? And now I can say, okay, give me the card. And now we see the Trello cards. If you want to automate this, um, there are at the moment a little bit confusing <laughs> but they are on different places. There is the create connection element. It's an enterprise architect element afterward that contains all the connection information. Then create an import job. So that means automatically create from that result set enterprise architect elements. Of course, you can also define the types because they are predefined attributes and you can also make a good mapping just by adapting the select SQL statement. And of course, you can input the results as elements. As an example, uh, each row could be a requirement or each row could be an object. As an example, I've prepared to import exchange and to make it a little bit colorful, I have also prepared some legends. The legend is visualizing the type, the bridge connection or bridge job. And the bridge job has additional status information uh, showing what is going on. So the representant of having a bridge connection is this bridge connection element and you see that the attributes, it's tagged values you can see there. And for the bridge job, it's just importing folders from Exchange. Um, it's the query select ID, display name as name. That means ID is mapped to the internal ID of Enterprise Architect and name, display name is mapped to the name element so that we can visualize the folder not as unnamed element, it's just mapping automatically to the existing elements. All the other attributes um, that are coming with the SQL statement, in this case it's not, but if there are, uh, automatically uh, will be tagged values. And this is a back round process, so you don't have to wait for it. Um, there is a batch job running on the server and if therefore the status is very important. So if I start this import process, start import job, then it stop, stop is job is starting on the server. Then you see the run state. And as soon as it is finished, it becomes uh, green. And the flow uh, means that all the answer, all the results are stored in a package. And this package contains now two folders as before. Just as an outlook, of course, the other direction is also possible. Um, the downside of the other direction is that not every um, connector is having a automatically import insert update delete command because it's sometimes really complex um, to create um, an email means in the exchange world you have to create an email then you have to get back the email ID, then you define attachments, and if you are gone, then you have to send the email. So it's a three steps process. So therefore it's not just an insert into emails, but um, 
there will be some capabilities for that. And the second thing is um, because we have uh, more jobs than just only the folders, if I do again this um, import, you can see there are three import jobs. And uh, all of them are starting. It's a little bit fast, but uh, okay, all of them are starting. And all of them are automatically creating elements. And this is a sample of importing the messages from a specific date into Enterprise Architect as elements. And the same is with Trello. If you have Trello job, this is one is still running, then we have a Trello import job. And then the elements that have been listed um, in the query analyzer are automatically um, represented in a package, wherever it flows to, in a package as elements. So what I will do now is um, I go back to the architecture just to give you the impression. Enterprise Architect having its repository, ConnectBridge is an add-in from ConnectBridge providing a RESTful API to do this automation stuff. At the moment mainly importing but coming soon also exporting for a various number of connectors more than 30 or 60 i don't know exactly but including a lot of um, a lot of crm erp stuff that can be used sample is trello sample is exchange or sap where you can have artifacts that you want to reuse or use in enterprise architect and um, what you can do with this imported elements is to make a relation. As an example, if you are using um, Trello, then you can make a relation to all the artifacts imported from Trello, you see imported from Trello cards, to an implementation of your system. And by default, because the relationship is targeting from the class to the Trello element, if you update an element, and this is mentioned by an ID, so if you uh, once you can go to the back tech, tech values, you see the ID. This is a unique ID from Trello. And here we have the direct link to Trello environment. Then automatically Trello raises up. You can modify the card in Trello. So currently I'm not registered, so therefore it's not visible. But then the Trello card raises up and you can see a checklist or whatever Trello contains and uh, you even can add additional cards if you want and jump back and forth between Enterprise Architect and Trello. How this is working? Just create a new view. So create a new view. Um, like again with Trello, Trello zero one um, sample, so that I know afterwards what I have done. We can work with the, we can work of course uh, with the diagrams, but uh, yes, I make just a simple one. Then I go to the Connect Bridge Query Analyzer. Okay, it's already open. Go to connect which query analyzer. Then we create create the connection element. Uh, we call it Trello connector. So automatically below Trello sample, the Trello connector element is generated. Then I can create an import job. And last but not least, um, and here is the input job. Um, okay, automatically the input job is also a diagram, so then I don't need this one. Um, I connect the input job to the connect bridge connection uh, just by using it. Uh, so saying usage, usage connection. 
Uh, what I have prepared, of course, is this nice legends. Where I can say, okay, give me the different types. It's just a visualization of the types that you have an immediate update. Um, and of course, we can also uh, make this status um, visible. And now, if I want to import, start the import job for this select star from card, I just press right mouse button specialized. And here we have this start import job capability. And say it's running. And now it has finished. If I want to see to import also the elements, then I can just um, specialize and say create elements from result. Then automatically this in does in include uh, creates um, the Trello import result, and I can just press place this element here. And what you see now is this unnamed thing. That's not nice. <laughs> um, what we can verify already is that these elements here do have uh, their ID and you see all the attributes I provided are available and name is not spelled correctly and the ID is not spelled correctly and therefore there is no automatic map uh, to this element properties uh, that are name with a capital and these are the GUID um, of Enterprise Architect. So what I will do, I just remove these elements again and I will change the SQL statement to something that's um, that's like um, Oh, it's not allowing that I change the SQL stand statement as soon as I have started using it. Um, but I will uh, show you how the SQL statement should look like. The SQL statement should look like ID as ID and that you have automatically mapping the name and then you have uh, a correct, correct mapping. So what I will do just to show that, demonstrate that the mapping of the name is also very simple. I remove the elements I don't need. And then I just um, go back to my query analyzer. And I say here, okay, I want to have, I have the lower capitalized because in Trello it's lower, but for Enterprise Architect we need it is as ID. Um, it's not a mapping to the GUID, but it's not important. But uh, then we have name as name. And if we want to have the shortcut URL, so this is down here, shortcut, short URL. And you want to have the short URL as URL. So then we have different attributes. And we have the good news, we have the correct uh, naming convention. Then to make again this import, create import job. Um, then this one is not needed anymore. So we have the import job. The import job is using the Trello connector. So using, then we have the, the, the legend and the job state and then we have this um, we start the we start the import and as soon as the elements are available we can also import the elements from the result and if we want to visualize that now you can see that the name is mapped in a good way and there you can visualize the, the import result. If I want to jump to this package, um, to an, a specific element like task1, these are automatically identified, URLs are automatically identified by Enterprise Architect as URL, therefore we have these three dots and then we can jump uh, back to Trello. 
if we rename task one or we create a new one if you create a new Trello element uh, a new card Peter's new card you can add this then we can re-import and of course can automatically make this important sync at the end. Okay, maybe I've used the wrong artifacts. So, long story short, um, the funny story is that we have the capability within Enterprise Architect now to use um, all the stuff from ConnectBridge uh, to integrate even things that have been never thought about into being integrated um, like emails or like uh, Trello um, artifacts or anything else. Um, there, this is not the only solution existing in the market, but I think it's a really nice idea to have these SQL commands for a lot of um, existing uh, systems. Once again, not mainly focused on application lifecycle management, the product lifecycle management, it's really uh, integrate whatever you want. And the really nice capability is that you're even able to write your own connectors. And you have an open API and SDK that you're allowed to do that. So thanks a lot. And thanks to ConnectBridge for providing me these uh, samples. And hopefully it was an inter interesting story for you, uh, what capabilities in Enterprise Architect are existing to connect any kind of data to have a complete story for your modeling environment based on enterprise architect platform. Thank you. Bye.